Yo guys, in this video I want to show you what settings I use and explain why I use them. This is kind of a 500 sub special. Some people ask me to do something for 500 subs and some people ask me to do a settings video as well. So I might as well just do it like this right now. So um, I'm gonna make timestamps so you guys can skip around and look for things you need and things you might want to skip. So. Um, so if you were looking for something specific, you can find it there. As you can see right now, I'm playing Toggleen and Hold Aim. I was playing uh, Toggle Aim for the longest time and just recently switched to Hold Aim. And on Lean, I played Hold Lean for the longest time and also recently switched to Toggleen because some people told me to try it. Okay, I wouldn't advise you to play Auto Lean. I find it annoying because it takes away some control you have. Um, it's maybe useful on mobile, I don't know. Like, maybe if you're a mobile player, then it's probably cool, I don't know. Field of view, of course, I use the max, because I want to see as much as possible. Uh, sensitivity, this is a little bit tricky. As you can see, I'm playing 12 and 16, and also 16 scope should be 18. Um, but I'm also using one Roblox sense and 800 DPI. So if you want to copy my settings, you have to check your DPI, what you are using on your mouse. The aim sensitivity is a little bit higher because um, I want to match the hip fire to the aim a little bit and normally the ADS sense is a little bit slower. Um, so I just heighten it to like compensate for that. Same with scope. Scope, I put, also put a little higher a little bit higher so uh, it just feels more the same like not really one to one because you can't really get those exact but that's what i'm trying to achieve gamepad i never really played controller so let's just skip that heart is interesting the only interesting thing i have is height cough indicator and height domination indicators I think with domination especially, you have a lot of shit on your screen. Patrol of course is uh, important because patrol point is moving, but domination and cough, those are always in the same spots and you just need to know them and then it's fine and you, you don't need those indicators. I just turn them off. Let's move on to team colors. Um, I use those two team colors and like a greyish for FA. In fact, I didn't touch survivor and neutral. I also didn't touch, I think, and contested also. Player outlines. I use this blue tone. What's also very important with um, player outlines is using enemy outline transparency and put it to like a very, very low value. So the lines are like thicker and you can like see the enemies easier and it helps me twist like seeing people they're just like in the corner of my screen for example yeah friendly outlines i have off because uh, i don't need to see them crosshair right now i'm using this crosshair i change it every now and then you can copy this uh, if you want to but it doesn't really matter that much maybe you want to turn on uh, dynamic center size to see how your hip fire is but this is just what i do like every now and then to get a visual representation how my hip fire is looking instead of just a number in the setups. Keybinds, this might be a little bit interesting. I didn't really change much. I've leaned uh, on Q and E as it's normal. I changed the prone to uh, control, and that's the only thing I changed. This is what I like copied from other FPS games I played, where prone is just on your uh, left control key. Miscellaneous. I have crossplay off, but it doesn't really matter because I'm using a different application to join Roblox servers, so um, I don't know what you want to do there. I, I have it off, but it doesn't matter for me. I have map textures off, I have arms on, ragdolls, this is very important, turn them off. Because ragdolls take away a lot of performance and simplified outfits, I have this disabled because I want to choose with some people and it's like hard to tell sometimes. Third person weapon skins and animated third person weapon skins, I have them both disabled, this is also very important. It's one of the new settings which got added. What it does is disable the skins of other players you see. So um, they don't need to load in and it gets you also more FPS. 
I have all these effects off. Maybe you can experiment with invert flashbang effect if you want to, but I left it at the normal white flashbang effect and not the inverted one. That's really everything. I don't use stretch resolution, I use the normal one. If you look here at my graphics settings, I used the RCO config where you can get the max settings. If you don't have that, just put it to like the max um, because in my opinion, it doesn't really make much of a difference if you have a somewhat decent PC. Of course, if you are on a laptop or like a very bad PC and you don't have like a good graphics card, then don't do this. But Roblox is a CPU heavy game. Most of the time your graphics card isn't working that hard when you're playing Roblox. So I have it on max because uh, it really like, doesn't matter that much. By the way, if you want to know how to unlock your FPS or get the RCO config, I'm gonna make a video how to unlock your FPS with different methods. But you can also just watch some other video, of course. You can also download RCO to get the settings, but I use this weird config file, which is the easiest for me. Yeah, I think that's, that's everything. I'm gonna do an inventory video when I'm on 300k, so that's gonna be in, in a bit, as you can see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was a little bit informative for you guys. And thank you for all the subs. I'm probably gonna do more videos, of course. Yeah, thank you and goodbye.